we have found the terrestrial planet orbiting Proxima Centauri. It's the nearest exoplanet we will ever found. Because if it has an atmosphere, it is actually pushing up the temperature through the greenhouse effect above zero degrees. And it now, President Biden has introduced the first image to be shown publicly from the James Webb Telescope. Since the discovery of Proxima b, the science world has been anticipating the planet's exploration, hoping it is habitable and possibly has life on it. In the quest, the James Webb Space Telescope was sent to investigate the planet, sending an image of the now popular exoplanet Proxima b. The picture has been nothing short of mind-blowing. This image beats the record for the clearest image of the planet, and the interesting fact about the James Webb Telescope is that it can show how the cosmos was as far back as 180 million years ago. Will the picture show if the planet is habitable? Join us as we delve into the clearest image of Proxima b taken by the James Webb Telescope. The Revelation The clearest picture of the supposed livable exoplanet, Proxima b, was released a while ago. The picture clearly shows the exact look of the planet and its location at the time it was taken. The main importance of the James Webb Telescope is that we can use it to see what was formed in the galaxies billions of years ago, and this helps us understand more about how everything that happens in space occurs without having to go there to find it out. The infrared photos of JWST are way more advanced than anything human eyes have ever seen. The technology and advancement behind the telescope's skills are almost unreal, but like other camera filters, it depends on how it is used to give great results. Astronomers could use the James Webb Telescope to study the origin of galaxies, stars, and planet formation by capturing a range of light colors with the telescope's camera and filters. That way, scientists can look at the colors in those pictures and study the air around them. Additionally, concerning exploring the atmosphere of exoplanets outside of our solar system, the James Webb Telescope looks for signs of extraterrestrial life on exoplanets. Important findings about the evolution of the cosmos have been made due to the James Webb Telescope's special ability to look into the past, which is very far away. For example, the telescope permits astronomers to find more mass than was formerly thought to be in the cosmos, which was hidden away in several large galaxies. The Proxima b Project Proxima b is found to be in the area near its star that scientists call the Goldilocks Zone, which is also seen to be near our Sun. Proxima b is believed to have the right conditions for water to exist in it. Due to this, scientists believe the planet can support life. For further study, observers finally found evidence of a planet's very slight gravitational pull on its star as far back as 2013 after years of research. The discovery of Proxima b is remarkable. We are viewing the Alpha Centauri system as it was four years ago. By observing it, we can see its state in the past. The Alpha Centauri system is around four light years away from us. When it comes to mind-blowing astronomical discoveries, Proxima b wins. This planet is one of the nearest exoplanets ever discovered, only 25 light-years from Earth. Not being deceived by the distance, the world of Proxima b is far different from our own. The planet is seen to be bigger because its mass is around 30% greater than Earth's. However, a very short 11.2. Earth days make up Proxima b's year, and this is because of the planet's close orbit to Proxima Centauri, which is only 7.3 million kilometers away, which represents less than 5% of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This mystery planet is near its star, meaning it might not have enough water. But it's not another Earth. One side might always be too hot because it always faces the star, and the other might be too cold and dark. That's not good for life. Also, if water gets too close to the star, it'll boil away. Proxima Centauri might not be a great place for life after all. Even though Proxima Centauri is much smaller than the Sun, its nuclear fusion happens closer to the surface.
This makes the surface chaotic and turbulent. If a planet like Proxima b is in the habitable zone, it gets super strong magnetic fields causing high energy radiation and particle bursts. Scientists didn't know much about Proxima Centauri's magnetic field until a recent study with detailed maps. Now we know more about the star's solar wind and how tough it is on Proxima b. The planet gets more solar wind radiation, about 1,000 times more than Earth. This can be dangerous for any possible life because of strong flares. In April 2021, a big flare from Proxima Centauri was 100 times more powerful than any from our Sun. It's hard to imagine how life could survive with so much radiation without proper protection. Even though it's interesting to think about a planet with good conditions, the reality seems different. People have always been curious about finding aliens, and in late 2020, a strange signal was discovered from the Alpha Centauri system. A signal at a strange frequency, 982.07 MHz, was found. Some experts think it could be from a made thing, while others think it might be a sign of smart aliens. Going to Proxima Centauri b, the nearest planet, and finding aliens might be easier than we thought. Scientists are trying to make travel faster, but even with the best technology, it would take 6,000 years to reach the closest star, Alpha Centauri. A project called Starshot is trying to use lasers to push a spaceship there. The Earth's air makes using light and lasers to push a spaceship hard. But the author suggests using smart optics to deal with this. Small lasers on satellites would watch the air and help powerful lasers on the ground stay focused on the spaceship. The lasers need a lot of power, like all the electricity used in the US, but only for 10 minutes. They plan to use many millions of lasers over a large area. The Starshot team wants to advance space exploration. When the lasers stop, the spaceship will zoom through space at 20% of the speed of light. This small spaceship, just a bit bigger than 10 meters, might take 22 years to reach Alpha Centauri. But the sun and other stuff in space might slow it down. Even if it gets there, it will take four more years for us to get its messages. The hard part is keeping it from melting. The mirror on the spaceship has to reflect almost all the light and handle heat well. The spaceship might not get close to a planet in the Alpha Centauri system, but it's interesting because we can add more spaceships later without spending too much once we figure out how to launch them. Imagine if other investigations were carried out into other star systems. We might see planets like Earth. After reaching Proxima Centauri, we could explore a whole new star system. James Webb Telescope The James Webb Space Telescope, or Webb, is a new and better version of the Hubble Telescope. It's meant to find answers about the universe and make important discoveries in astronomy. Webb can look far back in time, from when stars and planets formed to the beginning of the first galaxies. It's a team effort with NASA, European Space Agency, and Canadian Space Agency, and it was launched into space using an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana. The James Webb Space Telescope is a big science project that aims to answer important questions. It continues the work of other space telescopes and helps us learn how the first galaxies formed and what's out there in other parts of space. It is a special telescope in space that looks at things using infrared light. It's good at seeing things that are very old, far away or not very bright, things that the Hubble Space Telescope can't see well. This helps scientists study different parts of space, like the first stars and galaxies, and learn more about the atmosphere of planets that might be able to support life. The Webb Telescope was sent into space on December 25, 2021, using a big rocket from French Guiana. In January 2022, it reached where it needed to be, a special spot in space about 1.5 million kilometers away from Earth. The first picture taken by the telescope was shown to everyone on July 11, 2022. Northrop Grumman built the telescope. They named the telescope after a person named James Edwin Webb. He was responsible for NASA from 1961 to 1968 when they did the Mercury, Gemini, and Apollo space programs. Webb's main mirror is made of 18 gold-plated hexagonal pieces, and when they come together, they make a big mirror that's 6.5 meters across. 
that's much bigger than Hubble's mirror, which is only 2.4 meters. Webb can collect more light, about six times more, unlike Hubble, which looks at light in the near-ultraviolet visible range and near-infrared. Webb looks at a lower frequency range, from red light to mid-infrared. The telescope must stay super cold, below minus 223 degrees Celsius, so its heat doesn't mess with the light it's trying to collect. It has a special sun shield with five layers to keep it cool and protect it from the sun, earth, and moon. Webb is mostly made to look at things in near-infrared light, but it can also see orange and red light and mid-infrared depending on what part it uses. It's way better than Hubble at finding faint objects up to 100 times fainter. It can see things much earlier in the universe's history, returning to about 180 million years after the Big Bang. Webb can look at things in our solar system, like Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, their moons, and even comets and asteroids. It can also see objects beyond Mars, like those in the Kuiper Belt. Webb is good at observing things in near-infrared and mid-infrared light. If something is interesting that scientists want to check out, like a supernova or gamma-ray burst, Webb can quickly turn its attention to it within 48 hours. Due to all its amazing features, it brings out extremely great results. And when used to look at the cosmos in its entirety, we have a better chance to see things more clearly and see things the way they were before. Other attempts to get a clear picture of Proxima b. In the past two decades, scientists have discovered more than 3,200 planets beyond our solar system, known as exoplanets. These include large planets, rocky ones resembling Earth, and even those with two suns reminiscent of Tatooine. Despite these findings, no Earth-sized, potentially habitable planets had been identified nearby in cosmic terms until now. Michael Endel, an astronomer at the University of Texas, Austin, played a key role in discovering Proxima b, an Earth-sized exoplanet potentially within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. Endel spent seven years in the early 2000s searching for such planets using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. The detection of Proxima b was challenging due to its small size and orbit around a dim star, making it difficult to observe directly. The astronomers used a dedicated campaign to detect the star's faint wobble caused by the orbiting planet's gravitational pull. Despite the challenges and limitations of their tools, the astronomers identified Proxima b, marking a significant discovery in the search for potentially habitable exoplanets close to our solar system. Let us know your thoughts on the possible impact of the Proxima b image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope on our planet. Drop your comments below. See you again.